want to know why, ask how. Howard the Humongous. Speaking to you along with the frog in my throat. For three years, ever since the COVID-19 pandemic hit the United States in 2020, there have been two factions at war over the origins of COVID. One group says COVID came from bats in the caves near Wuhan, China. Another group says that COVID was a virus cooked up by the Chinese in their Wuhan Institute of Virology and deliberately spread to the United States. What's worse, they say, America's National Institutes of Health under Dr. Anthony Fauci financed the research that led to COVID. Now the Biden administration has made a move that many supporters of the Wuhan lab theory may regard as a victory. <clears throat> the Department of Health and Human Services has notified the Wuhan Institute that it won't receive any more money from America for at least the next 10 years. Why? Because the Wuhan lab snubbed the National Institute of Health's repeated requests for laboratory notebooks and other documents needed to show that the Wuhan lab was leak-proof. But there's a deeper problem underlying the three-year-long Wuhan lab controversy. There are many ways to attack a problem. One is to figure out who to blame. Another is to figure out a solution. Since the COVID-19 pandemic hit the United States, a faction of passionate partisans has focused on who to blame. One night, a MAGA Republican friend of mine called me in a near panic. Have you seen what the Chinese have done? He asked. They're making biological war on us. And he implied that this alleged biological weapons attack from China might be the start of World War III. Others playing the blame game said that COVID was an act of biological warfare unleashed on us by globalist elites. Those elites, they said, used the COVID lockdown to turn us into our own jailers. The globalists allegedly used COVID to get us into the habit of living under a totalitarian system like the tyrannical systems that these QAnon-style thinkers were sure the globalist elites were working to impose on us. What does assigning blame lead to? It gives us permission to hate. Something we love far more than we realize. Groups from subcultures to civilizations come together around permission to hate, around agreement on who the group's villains and bad guys are. But one group's God is another group's devil. One group's good is another group's evil. For example, the Jews of the Old Testament were given permission to hate the Canaanites. They saw the Canaanites god, Baal, as a devil. And it's likely that Baal gave the Canaanites permission to hate the Jews and to regard the Jewish god, Jehovah, as one of their demons. Why is the permission to hate so addictive? Why is it so delicious that it brings together entire societies? Because it appeals to parts of the brain that produce dopamine. And dopamine is the ultimate high. It's the body's equivalent to cocaine. What's more, the blame game is built into almost all animals and birds, not just humans. Put seven rats on an electrified cage floor with the current off then turn on the current and watch what happens. The electricity sizzles the rat's feet with pain. So the six strongest rats instantly feel out who they are, gang up, and maul the weakest rat. They use the weakest rat as a scapegoat for their problem. Does this stop the torture? Does it turn the electricity crackling through the floor off? No. Blame is not the best way to deal with a problem. Instead, you need to find a solution. And that is what the Operation Warp Speed program did. 
President Trump set aside $10 billion for the rapid development of a vaccine. And the vaccines that emerged were 91% to 95% effective. Did the vaccines make a difference? Before the United States was widely vaccinated, we had over a million deaths from COVID. We had a staggering 26,000 deaths a week. Since the majority of our citizens were vaccinated, we've had only 100 deaths a week. So which is better when you're hit with a problem? Finding someone to blame or finding a solution? This is Howard Bloom speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to make. Or, <laughs> want to know why? Ask how. And now for the off button. 